Presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. When we left Jungle Jim Bradley and his friend Peter Hawkins last week, their caravan had been ambushed in Dumba Pass. Back in the village at the other side of the Great Plain, as Shanghai Lil and Dr. Carstairs laid their plans to trap Bhutan and his Tiger Claw Society of Smugglers, a native runner arrived with the information that a caravan had been butchered in the pass. Meanwhile, Peter Hawkins and Myra Trent were taken prisoners by Bhutan's men. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page of which is printed in full color, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. Shanghai Lil and Dr. Carstairs decided that the only way they could hope to reach Dumba Pass in time to be of any assistance would be to fly and land near the scene of the ambush. We join them now as their plane circles over the hill. Now, according to your map, that Dumba Pass below us, Doc, I'll bring us down as low as I dare. But the smaller path on the right isn't shown. No. The two passes are so close together that both have the same name. Larger is the one generally used. Well, that means we'll have to land and look over both of them. We can't see anything from here. But, Mr. Vreel, it'll be dangerous to venture into them on foot. If there's been an ambush, some of Bhutan's men be still around. If you're caught now, it would end your usefulness to my government. Now, listen, Doc. You and I might just as well get things straight now. You've objected to everything I've proposed. Only because of the element of danger involved? Danger or no danger, we're going down and investigate. Of course, if you're afraid, you can stay with the plane. I'll go into the pass. Well, I'll set us down as near the pass as possible. And now, Doc, are you with me or are you going to sit back? I shall go with you, of course. Oh, that's it. You know, Doc, you wouldn't be a bad guy if you weren't so cautious. That's high praise indeed coming from you, Mr. Breel. <laughs> Thanks. Now, here's my plan. We've got to hurry because it's getting dark. I'll go into the larger path. You take the smaller one. All right, Mr. Veal. Hang on, Doc. We're landing. All right. Now, let's go, Doc. Sure. Can you you manage? Sure. (laughs) Right. Now, remember, Doc. If you find anything, the signal will be three shots. Right. But I must caution you, Mr. Veal... You may encounter some of the men of the tiger's claw. Yeah? There's nothing I'd like better than to run into a couple of them. You just watch out for your own neck, Doc. Shanghai Lil can take care of herself. Far ahead in Bhutan's camp, deep in the tiger claw territory, another scene is taking place. Bhutan is speaking. Bring the prisoners to me. Yes, master. They are waiting. I will show them what happens to those who interfere with Bhutan. Bring in the prisoners. Ah. Remove their blindfolds. I should like to see their faces. Yes, master. So, Miss Trent, now do you see the folly of opposing Bhutan? How dare you make me, an American citizen, prisoner? What do you intend to do with us? So you would like to know your fate, eh? (laughs) What have you got to say, ancient one? Would you also like to know what is going to happen to you? Bhuta, you'll never get away with this. You murdered Jungle Jim in cold blood and you'll pay for it. (laughs) Jungle Jim Bradley meddled in affairs that did not concern him. He was warned, but he did not listen. You also were warned. Now you too must pay. You wouldn't dare kill us. I must ask you not to speak uh, until you are spoken to. You, black slave, what have you to say? Speak, I say. You'd better answer him, Kolo. Oh, you do not wish to talk, eh? It is well. Slaves are better silent. Take the black one away and bring the white devil stab to me. Yes, master. Now, look here, Bhutan. You can do what you want with me. 
But Colo and me to your girl, they haven't harmed you. Now let them go. You can't kill a woman. Silence. I am the one to make decisions here. Perhaps you would like to know that you are the only one that is to die. And as you die, you will be told the secret of your son. Now, what do you want, Victor? <laughs> Ronnie. I have sent for you, Devil Sav, because I have a little reward for you. Prince Bhutan honors thee for this day's work. Now, you have a girl. A white girl, I... Keep your hands off her. A white woman. A white woman. Uh, come with me. Uh, she will stay here, Devil Sab. Uh, your work is not finished yet. Uh, this man, uh, Peter Hawkins, escaped you in the past. He is yours now. Uh, kill, kill, kill. <laughs> uh, take him to the center of the village so that my men can watch you. No. Uh, he is told to kill. I... My orders are for you to kill him, Sab. Go. Uh, kill you, but huh? He's got a knife. Back. Get back. You you forget yourself, Saab. Take the old one to the center of the village as I command. No. I think I'd like to kill you better, Matar. No fun to kill the old man. Give me that white girl. No. Me... Uh, she is to be held for ransom, Saab. She will bring money for you. Money. Uh, money. Yes, we'll, we'll sell her. Uh, we'll sell the old man, too. I'll have money. Money to buy knives and guns to kill. We'll sell him. I have said to kill. No, we'll sell him. He'll bring knives and guns. You refuse to obey, eh? Very well. It shall be as you say. Return to your hut, Saab. I will send for you. Be sure that you do, Bhutan. Huh? Knives, guns. Knives and guns to kill with. Bhutan, that is... The devil, sad, Mr. Hawkins. <laughs> he is a killer. But for now, he has saved your life. Oh, he'd listen to me. I know he would. Perhaps. But he is not to see you again. I have other plans. You're going to ransom us? Perhaps. If not, you will both wish that you had died with Jungle Jim Bradley. We will talk later. Get out of my way. I want to see Prince Bitton. He's coming back. So the devil sahab wants to see me. Quick, take the prisoners out this door. <laughs> then follow my instruction. Yes, master. You'll pay for this, Bhutan. Where are they? Where's the white girl? They have gone, my friend. Huh? Gone. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Dr. Carstairs has made his way into the smaller pass and is approaching the scene of the ambush. Sahib Carstairs. Yes? Who is it? Mambo. They are here, Sahib. Where? Over there. See? That is all that is left of the caravan. They've been butchered. Poor devils shot down from ambush. The tiger corps is responsible for this. Pardon, Sahib Carstairs, but one man still breathes. A white man. You see, there's one still alive. Where is he? Take me to him. Uh, this way, Sahib. Here, Sime. Ah, badly injured. This man will have to go back to have immediate medical attention. Here, take his feet. We'll carry him to the airplane. Uh, yes, Sime. He's a big fellow. Be careful now. The airplane's uh, at the entrance to the pass. It isn't far, but we must hurry. Yes, Martha. The white man, he will live, Sime? It's doubtful. Did you find any others? Uh, yes, Sime. They are beyond help. All are dead. Bhutan and his gang will pay dearly for this. It's cold murder. Yeah, they are cruel. I find my government will not permit them to do as they like with human lives. Mambo, this man needs attention. As soon as we reach the plane, I'm going to take him to my hut immediately. When I came, there was a woman with me, Mr. Vril. I want you to stay at the spot where the plane is until she returns. I will do as you ask. And when she arrives, tell her that I've gone to my hut with an injured man. I'll send the plane back for her later. Do you understand? Uh, yes, I've got there. This man is dying. I haven't time to wait for her. But if you should hear three shots, go to her aid immediately. I understand. Good. Here's the plane. Help me lift this man into the cockpit. Yes, Careful. Master. Head a little higher. Uh, uh, down slowly. His feet up, Master. Now, do you understand my instructions, Mambo? Wait here for Mr. Real. And go to her if she should signal. I understand, Sab Carter. And if you should see anyone whom you believe to be a member of the Tiger's Claw, shoot to kill.
Less than an hour later, we find Dr. Carstairs in his hut as Shanghai Lil enters after having been brought back by the plane which he sent for her. Well, what was the idea of coming back without me, Doc? I'm sorry that it was necessary, Mr. Reel. I located the scene of the massacre. One man was alive and he needed immediate attention. I didn't dare to wait. Who was he? I've never seen him before. Oh. However, he's gravely injured. I had to get him back here as soon as possible and remove the bullet. Will he live? I think so, but I doubt if he'll be able to learn much from him for several days. His condition is critical. He's in the next room. Oh. Were there any others? Yes, but I didn't see all of them. I encountered one of my scouts, though, Mumbu, the man who waited for you. Yes? He told me that only one was alive. Oh. By the way, he stayed behind to see that the rest were given a decent burial. I'd like to get my hands on Bhutan. Yes, so would I, Mr. Vril. There's no doubt but what it was his tiger's claw killers. Only they could be so ruthless. Well, don't worry, Doc. I'll get to him. And when I do, he'll know that Shanghai Lil can be just as ruthless. Well, I've got to get started. But don't you think that perhaps this wounded native in the next room can give me some information? Native? I thought I told you, Mr. Real, the man's not a native. He's a white man. A white man? Doc, let me see him. I don't suppose it'll do any harm for you to do that. But you must be very quiet. Don't worry, I will. You'll have to come close to him, Mr. Real. It's necessary to keep the lights quite low. Of course. He's still unconscious. He... Oh, Dr. Carstairs. What's the matter, Mr. Real? Do you know him? It's, it, it's Jungle Jim Bradley. How badly is Jungle Jim Bradley wounded? And what will happen now that the party is separated? The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly. The big comic weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest supplement of humor and adventure, the comic weekly, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's Barney Google, the Katzenhammer Kids, Jiggs and Maggie, Skippy, the Little King, Toots and Casper, Flash Gordon, and many, many others. See all these characters in your copy of next Sunday's comic weekly. And don't forget our date next week. Same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. <laughs>